This is a deer hunters or some kind of hunters uh, stand. It's kind of folded up. It's hard to see. Um, but we had this in storage and we had taken pictures of it last year. Uh, and we had never listed it, and then I could never find the photos again. So we pulled it out of storage and uh, took photos of it, and I actually put it on auction because it's deer hunting season right now, um, and it sold for my opening price of $80. So it's definitely going to be a challenge to ship it, but I'm going to pad it with some blankets that I bought at the thrift store. Here you can see. Um, and then I will wrap it in cardboard and it should be okay. It's very sturdy. So 80 bucks on auction. These are a little see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, little monkeys. <clears throat> and Jay bought these and said his mom had these when he was little. So he knew that people collected them. These were on sale for 30% off and they still sold for $25. These are a set of two rockets and the shuttle just plastic toys and they sold for fifteen dollars this is a duraflame uh, fake fireplace heater um, you can turn it on so you can see it's got that fake there's a heater underneath which I don't have turned on at the moment but you can do a 700 watt or a 1500 watt heater and we bought this originally for the farmhouse, but there was not an outlet close to the fireplace, which is where we had placed it. So it didn't really work. Plus, I didn't want people to be turning the heater on when there's central heat and doing it double. So we decided to sell it. Um, I had it up for over $100 and no one was buying it um, because I think you can buy them a lot cheaper on eBay with free shipping. Um, so I finally took an offer of $75, and I have to ship this to New York. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the handle right there, and then unscrew the legs, which are just like thick plastic legs, um, so that those things do not break. And then it'll just be like, you know, wrapping this big box with a big thick blanket, and then hopefully it should be good. This is a cool piece of vintage artwork. Um, needlepoint that's done, uh, handmade, it says Virgo. We actually had it hanging up at the farmhouse in one of the bedrooms, um, but I priced it high and thought, okay, if someone gives me a good offer or pays full price, then I'll take it down. Well, she gave me an offer of $75 and I said yes. Um, and the cool thing is she bought two other items that I will show you in a second. So she also bought this t-shirt that says Herndon Track and Field. It's got a cool logo. Um, Herndon is a town in Northern Virginia, right where the uh, Dulles Airport is. I don't know if she's from Virginia or she just thought it's a cool logo because it's pretty awesome. Um, she bought that t-shirt for 20 bucks, and then a deck of cards that's a definitely vintage from the, the 70s or 80s. We support public radio sealed uh, deck of cards for $21. This is a set of three Western Digital 2 terabyte uh, internal hard drives. Um, I have something called a Drobo, which is a RAID system <clears throat> for, the, for those nerds out there. Um, so what it means is you can put hard drives of any size into this enclosure and it does, you know, two it doesn't work exactly like this, but two have your data on it and two have a backup, sort of. Um, and I started upgrading mine to five terabyte so I would have more room and these drives are still good. So I bought an enclosure. There's, it's called a SATA enclosure. Um, <clears throat> and I put these in there and it attaches through USB and I reformatted them just so they were blank, um, not formatted with my data. And I put them up for 50 bucks each and someone bought three of them last night. So that's $150. Um, and I recouped some of my costs for buying new hard drives. This is a vintage 90s Southwestern pattern sweatshirt. I just found it at my local thrift store and it sold for $19. This is the AA Alcoholics Anonymous Serenity Prayer uh, mounted on a piece of wood. 
definitely vintage and it sold for $22.50 on sale. This is a very nice L.L. Bean Turbo Transit plaid backpack in very good shape and it sold for $40. This is a 1990s Sony Walkman, the WM-FX21. Not super special. There's a bunch of them on eBay. Um, so I didn't think it would sell right away. It sold within a day, and it sold for $25. This is a pair of Motorola Talkabouts, um, little walkie-talkies. Now, I bought these for us to use at a video show about three years ago. I bought them on eBay. They were $20 total with shipping. Um, and we used them for this one show, um, but I realized that at a convention center, um, these don't reach far enough. You really need those like professional walkie-talkies, which usually the venue provides. I just uh, knew that we would be in a place where the venue might not provide these. So the rest of the story behind this is that venue was in Australia, and they have a different voltage than us, uh, electricity-wise. So I had a converter to plug this into a regular plug, but I didn't have a voltage converter. So I plugged this in, picture this as being the original one, and it, it burned this out. So I could no longer charge these. So what I did was I found a matching one, uh, the milliamps and the you know voltage and I spliced it on here you can see it's spliced on but it charges them up so they're fine um, so what's funny is I bought them for 20 total used them repaired them and then sold them for more than I bought them for I sold them for thirty dollars this is a faux amber kind of tortoise shell color necklace um, essentially it's just plastic but it's got a cool look and um, it sold for $30. Nice sale. This is a vintage Department of Defense paint shop uh, union patch. New, never used. I think we bought it for 50 cents. We sold it for $25. Okay, a couple of things that I packed while I was on hold with eBay. Um, so it was hard for me to videotape. Um, this is a Westinghouse um, wireless remote plug. So if you have a wireless remote that's the same channel as this, this was channel 5, um, you would be able to uh, plug in like lights or a heater or uh, anything really. Uh, we actually have a bunch of these. It's not Westinghouse, but at our house to turn lights on in rooms that don't have um, like overhead lights. Um, and this is just one of those things that I found in the bins of plugs at the thrift store. You know, they're really cheap, they cost almost nothing. And this sold for $17. This is an L.L. Bean uh, shirt. It's a flannel, super soft shirt. Um, it felt like it had never been worn at all. Um, but I did take a best offer of $20 because sales were slow yesterday, so I was happy to sell it. Jade looks very dapper. Um, this is a vintage all wool Swedish military jacket. Um, I had it up for 120 and someone offered 80 and I said yes. I packed this away before I was able to videotape it. Um, I found this at the thrift store the other day. I've sold these several times before. It's a Swedish uh, candle holder chimes. Uh, for Christmas so you light these little candles down below and it makes the little angel guys move and it hits those bells um, this one's pretty worn out but they always sell for a lot of money so this one has some wax on it some wear and it's still sold within a couple days for forty dollars this is a vintage Kodak brownie uh, it's a baby brownie I believe it's called um, and it says special. Uh, there are a lot of these online, so I wasn't sure why mine sold so quickly, um, but it did. It sold just within a few days for $15. Here's some very fancy Hermes Paris soap. Lovely. Um, I have three of these. I had three tiny ones that I already sold. Um, and this sold for $25. 
These are a pair of men's Ferragamo Chukka boots. They have a rubber sole, but they're in nice shape. I had them up for $150. Someone offered $120, and I said yes. This is a vintage 50s, 60s California modern Santa Anita wear bowl. It's just a serving bowl. It's cute, definitely mid century. And it's sold on sale for $28. Vintage 80s Christian Dior made in Germany. Prescription eyeglasses sold for $80. Hooray! This is a yard and a half of neon orange and black striped jersey knit. Um, it's like a polyester fabric and it was on sale and it sold for $24. I do not know how to even explain this crazy thing. Okay, yes I do. It's like a mission style sconce with little hooks like to put your keys on <laughs> on this crazy wooden background. Um, this was on sale. I guess we've had it for way over a year. And it sold for 20 bucks. This is a vintage 90s Sony Sports boombox. It works. Uh, it's got some marks on it. You can see on the right, there's like some paint marks on it. Uh, but it's still sold for $60. This is another Dundee orange marmalade crock. Um, I bought five for a dollar each. So I paid $5 for five. And this one sold for $30. This is a vintage chandelier. Um, it's kind of hard to see the shape. Uh, it's called a wedding cake chandelier. It's very art deco. It does work. Um, some of the crystals have come off. We have them in a bag. Although we did disclose that. Uh, we bought this for $5. And it sold for $260. This is a stainless steel, mid-century style, three slotted spoon rest, which could be hung up or put on your oven. It's very, very cool. And it sold for $30. This is what's called a CPO style jacket. Um, the, the buttons are, uh, you can't see them really, but they have, um, there you go. Uh, anchors on them like navy uh, jackets like a navy officer jacket um, <clears throat> and they were really popular in the 60s so I use that keyword this one however is very old I've had it for a long time it sold on sale 50% off for $25 um, I like this one because it's got kind of this like basket weave pattern that I haven't seen very often it's neat but out the door, $25. These are a pair of high-end combed cotton flat king sheets. Uh, you can see the brand here. King flat sheet. That's all it is. Um, it's got this awesome, crazy Pompeii pattern. Um, I think you can see it better on the back a little bit. Kind of tacky, but kind of awesome has the original tags. It's made in the USA, so it's from the 80s. This says 1989 here. Um, sheets that are brand new in the package, especially king size, can go for a lot of money. So I bought these for $6 each at my local thrift store. So it was $12. They sold for $80 each to the same person. So that is a total of $160, which is a lovely sale. Another Chevy Silverado vintage, uh, early 80s, late 70s uh, emblem. It's all metal. This is the last one we have, and it sold for $36.99. Okay, this is a water pick. Um, it's like a water dental flosser, and I use one, and I use this. I actually got this at a thrift store for like 5 bucks, um, but then we got one that hooked up directly to the sink, which is awesome. So I used this just a few times, and then I cleaned it with vinegar, scrubbed it down, um, and then I sold it for $40. And we actually have a second one um, that's about to be listed that I will also list for that much, and it sold pretty quickly. So 40 bucks on the water pick.